now. Yeah, we got to put this code in and everything in order to uh, get access to you. I'm like, oh. Uh, that's on Twitter, not on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. We're trying to send you a message. She's trying to do it again. It keeps popping up with a cold. Like, you'll put out... Well, a, you got a, a, Angela E. Stevenson. Yeah, she just put it in. She's listening to you. She put it's it in. It's not coming up. I don't see no, anything. No, it, it, it comes I up. I just accepted somebody who was a friend. I just accepted somebody. Angela E. Stevens? Stevenson. S-O-N-S-T-E-V. E-N-S-O-N. That's, that's for my hard of hearing listeners like me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to cut my name off, too. It's Steven's son. Give me my son. S-O-N. Oh, okay. So y- your son is active in your uh, plays as well? No, I'm just saying. You were saying Angela Stevens, and I said it's Steven's son. Give me the S-O-N. Give me the son. Uh-huh. I need to, I need that to be a part of my name. Okay. That's why you're having issues. Oh, I got you, Miss Stevenson, because we we've communicated a few times, and uh, you probably didn't know it was me. But anyway, yeah. Uh, oh, I need you to reveal yourself because I talk to many people now. Hey, yeah, look, just look at your page. You'll see. We're friends. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> it's like, uh huh. I'm gonna look too. <laughs> I am. Oh, but what am I looking for? Yes, I, what are you looking for, really? In an actor, actresses. Yes, I'm in an actor and actresses. I'm looking for someone who's going to be dedicated. I'm looking for someone who wants to hone their craft on the stage, and they're very passionate about acting and theater and plays. Um, that's what I'm looking for. And who actually has some skill. Um, even if you're not the best um Give it a try because you never know. You might fit it perfectly into what um, the character is that I'm looking for. So, first, you know, you have to believe in yourself. You can't have stage fright either, you know, because you get on stage, you got to keep it moving and, and act or what have you. So, I'm just looking for some great people who are passionate actually about their craft and love to be on stage and perform. Mm. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, yeah, people listening here. G- uh, people, people listening to you and they're like okay hey we need to get in there find out this play where we're at again it's saturday february 28th saturday yes saturday february the 28th at the riverside epicenter in Austell, georgia you can also purchase your tickets online at www.riverside epicenter and it's epi C E N T E R, not F X, but F E E P I, www.riversideepicenter.com. You can purchase your tickets there. It's in Austell, Georgia. Um, two great shows for that day 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. And if I were everybody, I'd be trying to get those VIP tickets because we're turning it up. The VIP, mm. either show would be a VIP reception. So well, you, you need to get, great you need to give me that information. Guys. You need to give me that information and that uh, that flyer so I can put it on our website on WGSJBC Radio. So all my listeners who are in that part of Georgia, and uh, uh, I know I'll, I'm not going to be able to make it, but I would love to make it to one of your uh, plays due to us a short notice. Uh, February 28th because I have another event I have to cover but uh, please keep me informed of your events because I would love to come there but only problem I need to know what kind of food is there you know because I need to know what what are y'all specialized in food and and see if I come there to a good play I want something to eat afterwards or before and we're going to feed you too I don't want no home cooked food I don't (laughs) (laughs) Listen, I have a caterer. I was messing with them. I can't even pronounce some of the stuff that she is preparing. Uh huh. I know that we have, I was looking for the, the list. We have shrimp something, she calls it. Um, shrimp every day. We chicken wrap, they call it something else. I'm not even going to try to mess up her menu because she's going to get me. Well, hold uh-huh. on. You, that's for the, that's for Saturday. I can't come all the way out there sa- uh, uh, on February oh, so 20th. tell you. You can't come Saturday. So what you want me to do? Fix your home cooked meal when you come to town? Hey, you flirting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook now. L- ladies and gentlemen, you la- I'm, I'm being flirted to on my own radio show. Look at that. <laughs> Miss Angela Stevenson trying to... Let me to- stop because I'm 
because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. What do you mean? I'm get, not flirting. I'm being nice. I'm being Get, I'm get me in trouble. We're we trying to find out about your play. And, 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 and right. that. I'm being hospitable. Wow. So when you come to Georgia, I'll make sure that Rob G is taken care of. What, what? Uh, okay, so uh, uh, how would how you don't got speeches? I don't time tied you, huh? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, it, it, it is always the first. It's always first, but you never catch me <laughs> off guard. <laughs> I, uh, I got you tongue-tied. You had me tongue-tied a couple of weeks ago, so I got you back. Oh, so that's what it is. You're going to give me uh come back at it like that, Miss Stevenson. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know more about Miss Stevenson and her wonderful, magnificent play, Can You Love Me Now? Hey. That's what yeah, we want to know. Yeah, Can yeah. you love me now? She, she, she so want to know. Everybody wants to be loved for who they are. Really? Is that what your yes. play is all about? Being loved? It is. Being loved and accepted for who I am and not having to change who I am to fit in your world or what you think is acceptable in your what, what is acceptable in the playwright world right now? What is really acceptable in the playwright's world? I think anything is acceptable because there's so many people out here and there's many genres of, of, of plays, you know, so I think a lot of things are acceptable. I think the thing is some people are, are maybe scared to, to deal with it, you know, so we know that the relationship um, plays, they, they sell because everybody, you know, that's the thing, looking for love with a, a, a guy or girl or what have you or Somebody's went through some type of molestation. People deal with that all the time. How but much of so how many, much of your plays are in? Uh, how much of you are in your plays? And the, and *Misery Mess and Miracles*. A lot of me was in that play. Um, this one is, is not me at all. It, I stepped outside of my um, my realm and went somewhere that I think is very much needed to deal with and. Um, I dealt with it to the best of my ability. And, and, and the thing is, there may be a sequel uh, to it because there's a lot of things that are opening up on in this play that could go some other direction. So I am thinking of doing a sequel to it. I got a listener. They just hit me up and asked me, what is it the one thing that you look for when you're producing or casting for your productions? What is the one thing that I look for? Yes. Personality, meaning they have to give me that wow factor. You know, some people just come in and they're just like, you know, how Miss Stevenson, you know, and they do their act. I'm looking for that one that's just going to blow me out the water. Okay, like, my friend, I, 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 I tell you, my friend, I want to do nothing else, my David, and I want to be a part of your play. <laughs> no, my friend. So, so, yes, if that's not who they are and they came in and they was acting like that, that would make me laugh, you know. That would that make me laugh, my friend. I tell you, I kill you. Okay, my friend. <laughs> yeah, you ever like that? Would make you, me laugh. Yeah. You give me so the play now. Laugh. Okay. You give yeah, me play yeah. now. Don't worry. I read the script. I read it my way. You tell me. Don't do nothing today. Okay, my friend. So <laughs> <laughs> well, they're even. You can transition from role to role. Oh no, my friend, I cannot do it. I'm a corruption detail. Oh no, what you want to go? In the wall, in the wall. You are hilarious. <laughs> oh. So yes, that would wow me. That would give me the wow factor. That would give you the wow factor. That make you sit up on the edge of your seat, ready for yes, more like improv. Huh? So you like yes. an improvise, uh, improv, uh, prof. Uh, I'm I'm literally tongue tied right now. Improv. Uh, uh uh-uh, uh, don't even try it anymore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Help me out. Right. That's what I said. Don't 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 even try it. Okay. So yes, I love someone that. Um, See, you can't even say it yourself. <laughs> right. I'm not even gonna try. That's why I said don't even. Yeah, but they can do improv. I like people who can do improv because you never know what role you're gonna be playing. You can transition easily. Now, are you are you a improv? Are you? I imp- have, actually have someone in my play that transitions very well um, from character to character. 
Okay, what about yourself? How much acting experience do you have under your belt, and uh, how much do you encourage new actors to come out and do be themselves? How how do you know? How do you know when somebody? I started acting when I was in high school, and I started writing not long after that. I've always just kind of writing takes me into another world, you know. So. I can go wherever I want to go when I'm writing, you know, so that's kind of a passion of mine. So as far as acting, I haven't been on the stage lately. I have been behind the scenes writing and producing, but I do want to get back on the stage um, and do some acting. Okay. And later, soon, soon, maybe in this, maybe even in this next play production, I may, I may do it. Well, um, well, maybe you can cast a radio personality for your show. Maybe he can come up and do some improv for you. I would love that. I would definitely keep you in mind. Really? I say, you know. Actually, <laughs> one of your good, good friends is going to be in the house on February the 28th, so he'll be able to tell you all would that about it. Vi- would that be Mr. Victor Gully? Yes, it would. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, Victor Gully, he has that type of money. He can get around because y'all, y'all, <laughs> you know, Victor, uh, Taste of the Theater, they can get around because y'all, y'all. Listen, yeah. this is what he told me, too. I said, well, I hope to be where you are one day. And so I was joking with him. I said, like, soon, like tomorrow. He says, well, I am kind of, you know, well known. So maybe one day. Uh-huh. That's what he told me. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Um, I got nothing to say about that. Hey. But I was not offended. I know he's so. I, Hey, he a cool dude. I met him. He came to the studio, and we had him cracking up and had him doing Akbak. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool guy. Uh-huh, he's uh-huh. So, cool. ladies and gentlemen, if you want more information from Miss Angela Stevenson, uh, I got to emphasize Stevenson because... Yes, emphasize you know, that son. Yeah, because, you know, she's a single black woman that is eager to make you... Did I say that I was single? Okay. Uh, um... No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Split personality, bipolar. <laughs> I that's why we call it we misery. We make great playwrights, though. We, that's why we make great playwrights. And that's why they make misery mess with miracles, you know, because misery <laughs> mess with miracles is something that you have to check out. And, you know, Ms. Angela Stevenson's production, she has it all from misery mess with miracles to uh, how do you love me to, you know, and even her, her book, you know, because we're be really nice to uh, sit down and talk about misery mess with uh uh, you know, misery, mess, and miracles. Yeah, you know, it'd be good to sit down and pull that book off the bookshelf. It looked like it's one of those big old college encyclopedia <laughs> books. Is that what it is? No, it does not. <laughs> it does not. You know, it, from a, a little brief excerpt from her book, Misery, Mess with Miracles. You know, you know, she tried to push her hands away and and then grab his hands and. And look at me, and they look at you, and look through the front window, and people just uh, roughly pulling off panties, and and they they just can't stop climbing all on top of people, and all on a reclining chair. I mean, you know, she got people just all trying to get harder on themselves, and trying to keep them from fighting at each other, and they screaming for are daddy. You I mean, just reading this telling people daddy get off of me get off of me daddy it's not my situation it's a no no win situation daddy but you know for the longest five times you know her book will really get you sliding back into a driver's seat and and then end up having you zip up your um okay and then after you get through zipping up and driving (laughs) off you got to realize uh the rest of the way is it's kind of silent when you look at her book and it's, it's a little criminal and it has uh has just been committed to you in your mind because it has a little mystery 
and, and, and it has miracles in it, you know, because uh, sometimes people be playing for him to stop and, and, and they don't want to stop. They want to keep climbing to the top, you know, but if you want to know more, you got to get this book, Misery, Mess With Miracles. And, you know, that was just a little brief excerpt, you know, freelance writer, author. She's a motivational speaker, a teacher. You know, she's passionate of what she do. She helps.